Okay, I just felt I had to make this video, this quick video. This is an image that I posted on Instagram and also on Facebook. But Instagram, I had a lot of people or quite a few people that like this meme and they commented on the meme. The one person that stood out to me that made a comment was one of my cousins, one of my favorite cousins. Now, some people may be asking, big deal, your cousin may commented, but you have to understand, this is the first time my cousin had ever made a comment on one of my posts that's involving my political stance. My cousin voted for Biden and Kamala Harris. My cousin is a Democrat. So I guess in his own mind to keep from creating conflict, he chose not to comment on any of my posts involving politics. When I posted this, surprisingly, he not only liked this comment, but he made a comment. And his comment was, that's crazy. After one year of Asian hate, they get a bill to prevent it. We've gone through over 400 years of oppression and we can't get a damn thing done for us. What's up, President Biden? Now, I made a comment and said to my cousin, this is what I've been saying all the time. See, there's a lot of black people out there, Democrats that feel if you are a conservative or Republican or you support Trump, you're automatically the enemy. See, they get called all kind of names. They get called coons and a ruckus and racial terms. And you have a lot of conservatives that had even lost family members. They lost friends. They lost family members all because of their political stance. They didn't hurt nobody. The only offense they made was supporting the opposing party. But now we find that a lot of people that attacked us and chose not to associate with us and for some even threatened and attacked conservatives for just wearing a hat or a t-shirt that says Trump. So now a lot of those same people now are starting to comment in opposition against what they see taking place in this country. Especially when Biden signed an anti-Asian hate bill. And like you see in this meme, you have Whoopi Goldberg and it says black people who saved his campaign. Black people saved Biden's campaign. They got him in the White House. Even if it meant cheating, they got him in the White House. And as you see Whoopi Goldberg saying, anything for me? So now black people are now asking Biden indirectly, anything for me? In other words, he's giving to everybody else. He's making sure everybody else's pockets are laced except for the so-called black Americans spending trillions of dollars of our tax dollars gave the American citizens a few pennies of, of, of uh, stimulus packages but trillions of dollars are going to illegal immigrants and foreign nations nations that hate America Biden is putting illegal immigrants in hotels, 
busing and flying them to any place they want to be in America at the taxpayers' expense. But yet, black people protest and looted and burned up businesses and gotten hurt in many cases, was arrested, turned on their own families and friends, all because of the fact that they felt in their hearts that they was doing the right thing protesting. Black Lives Matter. And all the money that was donated to Black Lives Matter, the black community got nothing. It only mattered politically. But when it comes to what's actually happening and not happening in the so-called black community, the so-called black people are forgotten. They're forgotten. And now they're asking, anything for me? Because everybody else's pockets being laced. But black people are still on the bottom. And Biden, I would not doubt if he signs the crime bill 2.0. But this time it would come in the form of gang members. Signing a bill calling them domestic terrorist. That's another way to lock up black people. The crime bill 2.0. That's what I call it. The crime bill 2.0. So now you're starting to see a lot of people that voted for Biden. And the sad thing about that, if there was another election, even now after seeing what's not being done for the black community, because you have people that says, well, anything we do is going to benefit everybody. But when it comes to Asians and LGBTQ, and they're still talking LGBTQ, they're still pushing that on those people that don't accept it and will be silenced. And I would not doubt if this video is also silenced. So that's why I encourage you guys to go to my dream channel because that's where I'm posting now. I'm mostly posting on that channel and I have another channel um, that's brand new just in case this was gone, right? But just in case this channel is gone, I have another channel, Pen Black. So, and I'll put those links on the bottom and you guys go and subscribe if you choose to. But messages like this will be silenced because they want you to remain angry they want you to remain divided they want you to remain every time they say now we have to save democracy democracy is 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 under a threat now you like clockwork jump on the picket line black lives matter tearing up stuff for them Break that spell that they put in your spirit. Right now you are under a spell. You need to break that spell. And that spell is so heavy, it's so strong that you even turn on the people that care about you the most. See, and why are you thinking that black conservatives are anti-black and, um, bootlickers or Uncle Toms or Coons or what have you, they only want the same thing that you claim you want, but they really want it. They really want black people to come up. As we see now in New York City, it's going back to the way it was in the 70s, the old New York. Before Giuliani cleaned it up, it's getting back there. There was like 16, was it, uh, 16 or 17 shootings? No, more than that. This year alone, it was like 500 or something shootings in New York City. It's beginning to come, become like Chicago. If you look at all the Democratic-run states and cities, they're all having the same problems. Black people are killing each other. They're fighting. 
there's so much division and confusion and a lot of that division and confusion is coming from all of the rage the anger that you allow the Democrats politicians to create inside you now in Atlanta they have a sniper 16 people were shot and I think 10 of them died so now you have people that's afraid to even drive on the highway it's democratic run see so every democrat state and they're running now they're fleeing these states going to red states with those same ideas to make those red states like the state they fled from so all of that rage that anger that bitterness that's in your heart you're not going to lose that overnight just because biden is in the white house does not mean it's not going to take away all of that 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 those emotions that negative emotion that dark energy that's been put on you you're not going to lose that overnight so now you have to find some way to release that anger that hostility that bitterness and in many cases you're taking it out on each other those that's closest to you those that really care for you your family your friends your neighbor at the slightest thing you want to take their life I watched a video today where this dude this white woman walking down the street minding the business and this dude just walks up and cold knocks and knocks her out cold just like that a white woman so a lot of white people are under attack but yet they keep pushing that anti-white agenda that white supremacy agenda they want to keep you angry and mad so that when they call upon you when they call upon you you respond that's what they want you are conditioned to be the way you are not realizing that we are not the enemy that's the whole point of this video is to let you know that just because we are conservatives or Republicans does not mean that we're the enemy and I understand there's some of you out there a lot of you out there are saying like well it's all the same doesn't matter if you're Democrat Republican blue or red they like gangbangers of course I, I completely overstand that but the point is because we live in a country like we live in we have the right to choose whatever we choose to support it's our God-given right and many of you are giving up that right without even realizing it because you allow someone else to have that much power and control over you now I didn't mean for this video to go this long and I didn't mean to say everything I said but it needed to be said it's tight but it's right see we're the same there's no need for you to be angry with me attack me or even separate yourself from me because I'm conservative or because I'm a Trump supporter I'm not the enemy the enemy is that person that's keeping you angry inside that won't give you any type of relief that person that signs an anti-Asian hate bill and yet you're being murdered being slaughtered in the street and nothing is being done they're protecting your killers and yet you still vote them into office if they run now if there was an election now you would vote for them because you're conditioned you refuse to break that chain that's on your mind and now that's on your spirit you refuse to break that and they're replacing you right in front of you I've always been told coming up that actions speak much louder than words and right now their actions is showing you who they really are 
and how valuable you are not. Action speaks louder than words. So your action was supporting them, getting them in the White House, and in return, now that they're laced in the pockets of everybody that helped them out with trillions of dollars, and yet there's no receipts. No one knows where that money's going to outside of what they tell you in that bill. But everybody's pockets are being laced but yours. You are being replaced with illegal immigrants. Because once they position them where they want them to be, then they cancel you. They don't have to worry about you. So you can cry and moan and protest and lay out in the street and block traffic like a child that's having a tantrum. And the only thing they're going to do is say, okay, we're going to now write out a law where, you know, domestic terrorism. And now he's locking you up. The same Joe Biden is going to lock you up like he did with that crime bill. Crime Bill 2.0, but this time it's coming in the form of domestic terrorism, which invokes the RICO. See, so trust me and listen, the prison system is big business. We all know that. So right now these criminals are being, being released to reap havoc in the communities. And what communities are they going to? They're coming back to your communities. These are the same people that murdered family members of yours, friends of yours, and yet Biden is releasing them. Cuomo is releasing them. These Democrat mayors are releasing them to reap havoc in your communities. So just because we're conservatives or Republicans, don't make us your enemies. We want the same thing. We really want the things that you claim you want. So why are you lashing out at us? And now that some of you are beginning to see that Biden really had no plan for you and they've been telling you even during the election. Kamala Harris told you that there's nothing that they have set for black Americans. It's designed for everybody. They kept telling you this, but they had such a strong spell placed upon you that you could not see your way out of the deception. So Biden signed the anti-hate crime bill. Why? Because some white dudes decided to go shoot up Asians. And instead of pointing the fingers at where it should be pointed at, they blame black people. They made black people the scapegoat. And now they're protecting these Asians. And yet you're still being slaughtered in the street by the hands of each other and law enforcement. That's why they don't need a warrant to come inside your house because technically, like I mentioned in the past, you are not true citizens. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the cash app, donate to this channel. Hopefully this video will remain on YouTube, but I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm going to put a link to my other channels and I invite you to subscribe to them. They're right down in the description box. Until next time, I'm fearless.